Well, today's video is gonna be really, really fun. How awesome river rocks are to use in your aquarium. And I think I've come up with, I was shooting for 10 reasons, and I think I've got maybe like 15 or 20. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, river rocks are awesome. And I think that there's a bazillion reasons why they can be your new best friend if you're setting up an aquascape. First of all, they're cheap. We get ours from the local landscaping place. Disclaimer, you wanna clean your rocks. There's, uh, you can always Google how to clean rocks before putting them in an aquarium. We like to either use a solution of bleach or hydrogen peroxide. We never recommend oiling rocks. Don't ever oil any kind of rocks. Some will explode. So be on the safe side, don't boil them. But you, uh, depending on your comfort level, definitely you want to at least wash them off. We get ours from the landscaping place and they are cheap. Less than 30 to 40 cents a pound, which is good when you're talking larger tanks, but really even good for smaller nano tanks. So besides being really, really cheap, they are safe. So if you have any long, thin fish, river rocks can be very, very smooth and you don't have to worry about them hurting themselves. They are super easy to find. Like I said, we get ours from the local landscaping place, but a lot of people do collect rocks. I've been a lifelong rock collector myself, and they're very easy to find either in your uh, garden, if you're comfortable using them from there, or on your vacations. I always grab a couple of rocks wherever I'm at. A lot of people do collect rocks at the beach and use them in their aquarium if you're comfortable doing that. But yeah, river rocks are very easy to come by. River rocks have a natural appearance. They can be used uh, with ones that have different colors. So they have different varieties that you can use together and it can give a very natural look. It's not structured and just a natural biotopy type of look. I personally find them interesting. A lot of them have different textures and colors running through them. So really, even for a basic river rock, I find them to be very interesting. Another reason that they're really great is I find them to be simple to aquascape with. Why? Because you can basically just create a pile of rocks and it looks very natural. If you ever looked in a lake or a river, well, there's basically just a layer of rocks. Uh, there's little piles of rocks, so it can be stress-free aquascaping. Another one that I kind of alluded to before was they're great for a river biotope. Very common and a very popular kind of way to aquascape these days. I love river biotopes. They just look calming and natural, and you can't do that really without river rocks. These kind of rocks are also really great for shallow tanks. So bookshelf tanks are popular these days. I have a number of them in different sizes. And especially with that river, river sort of biotope style and also shallow tanks, river rocks can be your best friend because they don't take up a lot of room. And to pull off a beautiful aquascape, you don't need very many. I think I mentioned this already, but even though they're simple, they do have all a bunch of different variations in color and textures and kind of like little nooks and crannies um, that can make them kind of interesting to look at. And then also uh, keep in mind, they're easy to clean. So if you leave your aquascape for any amount of time, you know that you'll probably get some algae growing on your, your rocks and your driftwood. But this these river rocks are way easier to clean than your dragon stone or your serious stone where they have a whole bunch of little areas that you have to get into with a toothbrush or something. River rocks, super easy. Just run them, run them under water with a brush and they're as good as new. Another great reason is, well, you may already have them. If you're looking for a dragon stone or uh, uh, one of those high-end rocks, uh, elephant stone, scape, you're gonna have to go out and buy it. But river river rocks, no, nope. you probably already have some laying around. You may even have one as a paperweight. I don't know. That's because they're so easy to come by. <laughs> Here's another fun, fun reason. Say you, you maybe have a lot of tanks and at some point in the future you have fewer tanks. It could happen. What happens if you have some extra rocks? These rocks are really great because you can use them elsewhere if you're not using them in an aquarium anymore. You can use them out in your garden whole bunch of different options. 
And for the last couple of reasons, I, I think I already mentioned this, but I'm gonna say it again. I find that a, an aquascape, when you use river rocks, is relaxing. The smooth shape of the rocks and just the, the kind of natural feel of an aquascape that you will you, that you will probably create with river rocks is just a very relaxing, unstructured, sort of stress-free uh, aquascape. I don't know, is that just me? Do you agree? I, I don't know. And for my last reason, this is kind of a big one, especially if you are ever in your aquarium with a net, which you probably will be, and you're maybe trying to catch fish or get rid of some duckweed, what have you, well, you won't catch your net on river rocks like you will on other rocks. It's just kind of a little bonus that I thought that I would share. This video was just kind of a reminder. With your aquascapes, if you're going to create something that you really think you're, you, you just really want to love, don't forget about the humble river rock. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.